friends, good morning. Today I'm going to get my nails done and I thought I would take you with me. These are the nails before and we are going to Gloss House's house, so let's go. We are here. Gloss House house. Gloss House house. Gloss House house. This is the setup. It still needs a lot of work. Oh, uh, it looks so good. Look at all her nail things. I'm going to show them your store. Next to it? Yeah. Oh my god. She's gonna have so much good stuff. Anything you like, honey, she can do for you. Oh my god, even the way that you organize your rings, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh my. A jewelry store. Wow. Hello friends, so I didn't properly introduce this video, but I'm taking you to the nail salon with me. So my friend Christine is the one that does my nails and these are my natural nails. I've been going to her now for almost a full year and she is incredible. She takes so much time into taking care of my nails and using the best products and just taking a lot of time to make sure that my nails grow really long and healthy. So we are actually using builder gel on my nails today and Christine drilled the outside layer of my nails and now we are soaking them in acetone and this is me working without the use of my fingers so I have to use my palm. And then she's just gently filing away any of the excess builder gel that's on my nails. The acetone really helps to loosen and kind of soften up that gel so that she could just really easily and gently scrape it off. So she's being really gentle here just to make sure that she doesn't damage my actual nails. And then she's going in with a cuticle tool. This is one of my favorite parts whenever she does my nails because she takes such good care and cleans up my cuticles so nicely and then she's filing my nails into the shape that we want and then going in with the drill and she puts on a different bit just to make sure that the cuticles are all nice and clean so we have a really good base so my pointer finger actually broke it was like hanging on for dear life and we kept repairing it and we finally decided just to clip it off and she's applying a gel x Kind of like fake nail on top this is a healthier alternative to acrylic nail but different nail techs have different you know opinions on what they think is better for your nails so every time a nail breaks this is just what she does until the nail grows out and then it could be a natural nail with the rest of the girls so now she's applying a base coat i think she applies a dehydrator first and then you can see here she's kind of wiping away any of the extra bits of dust just to make sure that there's nothing left on the nail and we have a really clean base and then here you can see what she's doing is she's grabbing builder gel and kind of sliding and dragging it across the nail just to make sure that the shape is really smooth there's no like weird bumps or lumps and then she has a single use light lamp that she's using and that just allows her to cure each nail individually and sometimes if you've ever gotten your nails done before the heat can be a little bit like irritating so this just allows her to turn on and off just to make sure that i'm always super comfortable the heat is never too much and the inspo that i wanted for my nails is i wanted like a milky eggy color so she didn't have anything exactly what i had in mind i feel like the yellow that i wanted was really like obscure so she actually mixed up a custom color and it took her two tries to get it but she used the opi i forget what color it is but and showed it in the video and then she just mixed it with a clear color and that way it gets you like a really milky yellow color so love that she's actually done a couple custom colors for me before which i really love because you really can create anything that you have in mind and this is actually a little bit more of a simpler set than we've done in the past but i just wanted something subtle and cute and the yellow is a perfect spring color and the milky colors are so in right now. I love the purple set that I had last. I wanted like a sunny side up egg on my ring finger, so we're looking up some inspo. She's just finished curing everything and now just wiping off and cleaning the nails. And this is the finished look. She also does a little bit of filing just to get the nail shape like super precise. And you could see she's amazing. She even did some shading to the egg as well. So it looks like lightly pan fried. So I'm obsessed. I love the shape that she does for my nails the milky color is perfect and i just love the way that they came out so next month when i go back to christine to do my nails let me know if there's a design that you guys want to see if there's any inspo that i should do next
next I feel like I've done all of the crazy designs so I'm now going and doing silly things that we want to do so if you guys have any ideas send me your inspo send me your Pinterest boards I want to see all of it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video gloss house is the best and she actually is now LA based she moved from San Diego and I don't know if she's taking new clients or not but DM her on Instagram she's the best she's the only one that I let touch my nails when I'm back in LA so hope you guys enjoyed Thank you.